Are you tired of Arena being difficult? Well, in today's video, we take the easy way out. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. My name is Hello Good Game, and I'm pleased to be your host. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. I truly appreciate it. I'll be doing my best to break down a mono black deck list new for Bloomborough, breaking down in depth our uh, strategies and synergies held within the list, demonstrating this against the best players and decks in game to provide you a deeper understanding of how to pilot this deck effectively. Furthermore, we're going to wrap up with our, you know, uh, deck review, channel news, and anything else we can possibly think of. Again, thank you all so much. Leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, join the community Discord, and, um, you know, kick back, relax, and enjoy. Let's play some magic. But first, let's take a look at the deck list, yo. It's a new lap record. Oakley dokley, I guess. The easy way out. Shots fired. Well, I mean, it's quite consistent. Uh, I like to win, don't you? Shoulder it, shoulder it, shoulder it. I'm so glad you're in standard for another year. <laughs> no, 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 let's not focus on that. Let's talk about the new cards in the deck. First and foremost, uh, trying out Cruel Claws Heist. Two mana, sorcery speed, gift a card, and uh, target opponent will reveal their hand. You can choose a non land from it, exile that card. Now, if you promised a gift, you actually get to cast that card four mana uh, of any color. It, it will turn into generic, which is quite nice. And uh, it's basically just give me your best card. And it is worth it. Let me tell you what. Uh, early game, you're going to be gifting a card, just taking their best card out of their opening hand. Because why do you keep an opening hand, chat? Oh, I don't know. Because there's a good card in it, right? Uh, this is going to snag that. Totally uh, just ruin their uh, first hand. Okay? Uh, this will also now set the stage for your bats. You now know whether or not they are safe to enter the battlefield. Is there removal that you're going to be worried about that's going to clean up their bats, a field wipe or something that you can't take? Uh, like multiple copies. Sometimes you play a bat and you're like, oh, no, I can't deal with this. And that first bat, because of that, is wasted. Well, not anymore. And that is thanks to the heist, uh, which is great. And then, of course, you know, whatever they have, that's the best. Maybe it's an Atraxa. I don't know. Uh, you'll be taking that and playing it for yourself, which is quite nice. So that's our first new card. We also have... Season of Loss, 5 mana, Sorcery Speed, adding 5 paw counters and then spending them on uh, any number of, excuse me, the following. 1 paw counter. Uh, each player sacrifices a creature. Kind of a bummer because it's your own creatures as well. And we play with the bats. But, you know, we can play around it. 2 paw counters. Draw a card for each creature that you controlled that died this turn. Oakley Doakley. I, you know, I like this a little bit more and that kind of gives um, some value to it, right? Three, each opponent will lose X life, uh, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of creatures in deck, and uh, as the game goes on, they will build up, and uh, we deal, uh, you know, a fair amount of damage to our opponent throughout the turns as well. So this is kind of like a really good finisher move. Get over here! Uh, to their life points, of course, and um, more like seasonal wins. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> and then our third new card in the deck will be the Rotten Mouth Viper. Six mana, six, six, uh, non-legendary, which is really cool. And uh, and then as an additional casting cost, you may sacrifice any number of non-land permanents to reduce that casting cost by one uh, for each permanent this way. Uh, that sacrifice, which is great. And then whenever it enters or attacks, you put a blight counter on it. And then for each blight counter, your opponent will either lose four life sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card you know that is straight up value town um very very good uh you can play this for one mana fill your grave with creatures for a season of loss yeah, yeah it's pretty cool stuff um aside from that we will utilize the newest land which i am absolutely in love with fountain port Tap for generic, pay two, tap it to sacrifice a token, drawing a card. Pay three, tap it, also paying one life to create a 1-1 one, one blue fish. And then paying four, tapping it to create a treasure. So that treasure is really good. Uh, the fish is pretty decent as well. And then you can sacrifice both of those tokens to draw a card when you need. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Um, aside from that... Uh, you know, it's the mono black deck that we all know and love. Uh, 
making permanence to sack with the Viper will be the Preacher. Okay, so as a 2-4 for 3 with Death Touch whenever it attacks um, the player with the most life or tied with the most life, create a 1-1. One, one. And whenever it attacks while you have the most life or are tied with the most life, uh, draw a card and lose one life, right? So this uh, is really nice. If you're tied in life, both will trigger. You'll get a token and you'll draw a card and lose one life, which is really, really cool, right? Um, but these vampire tokens can easily be sacrificed for the Viper, which is a lot of fun. They can also be sacrificed for Season of Loss, potentially, if you wanted uh, to keep your good cards alive, right? Um, you know, say your opponent had two cards, you had two cards and two tokens, you can use this and you can sacrifice your tokens. They're forced to sacrifice their only two good cards, uh, you know, something like this, for example. Um, so that's really good to make those tokens we also have the miner which is really nice to sacrifice um because it can come back from your grave on that note all of your creatures can be sacrificed because you'll be bringing them back later with virtue of persistence for seven at the beginning of your upkeep put a target creature card from your graveyard onto the library under your control this also has removal via lock thwain scorn attached to it at sorcery as the adventure target creature gets minus three minus three until the end of turn and you will gain two life so you know the uh mitigation of life loss there through the life gain is quite nice. We also have that within the life link of the bats, Shieldred's ability uh, as well. So there's a decent amount of life link or life gain, I should say, in the deck alongside our vampire tokens if we needed them. It's, it's good to be aware because you know, there's a lot of aggro out there, right? So we want to be prioritizing our removal, get rid of those attackers. And let's get some life gain going uh, if we can, okay? Uh, also, the bat has life link. I forgot about that. So there's, you know, quite a few options for us uh, within that. Okay, so um, we can talk about uh, maybe Liliana. This is quite a good card. Uh, three mana, three starting loyalty, plus one. Each player discards a card. Again, we can discard creatures and replay them later with the virtue. Minus two, target player sacrifices a creature. This is really nice. Um, play Lily, minus two, and then snake your own Liliana, potentially. I'm not saying that's great, but um, it could it could be the play. Uh, and of course, minus six, separate all permanent target player controls into two piles, and that player will sacrifice one of those piles of their choice, which is quite nice. Just going to like basically cut them in half. Um, on the front end of our curve, we have Tiny Bones, 1-1 one, one with Death Touch, two copies of this, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast a non-land permanent card from their graveyard and spend mana as though it were any type, which is quite nice. The Death Touch is very good to defend with as well. Furthermore, um, you know, it will persuade your opponent not to block because they'll remove, you know, lose their blocker. But then again, you know, it's a double-edged sword because they don't want you to get into their grave either. Okay, we can forcefully get into their grave with some of our removal. Liliana's discard will help that as well. Three copies of Cutdown, instant speed, total power and toughness, five or less. Bitter Triumph, two mana, instant speed. As an additional casting cost, either discard a card, which we will ideally discard our miner as that is committing a crime, and we can then replay it from the grave for one mana, or pay three life, not the end of the world either, as we do have a lot of lifelink in the deck. Liliana, minus two, acting as removal as well. And then the Virtue, Lockthwain Scorn, minus three, minus three, also as removal, can be used in conjunction with the Cutdown as it first will uh, lower the total power and toughness of a creature, so Cutdown can take it with its stipulation. Okay, so much like the Heist, we can get into our opponent's hand with the Cavern Bat 1-1, one, one, Flying Lifelink. When it enters the battlefield, look at opponent's hand. You may exile a non-land card from it until it leaves the battlefield. Really, really good stuff there. We can have card advantage, which works really nice with Shouldered, Gix, Yogmoth, Praetor, 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Whenever a creature you control deals damage to your opponent, you may pay 1 and draw a card. Furthermore, we can pay 7, discarding X cards, and then exiling the top X cards of our opponent's library, and you may play lands and cast spells from among cards exiled this way without paying their mana cost. This is quite good, potentially, as we can be discarding creature cards from our hand, to replay them from the grave with virtue or potentially stack for seasons of loss all while gaining advantage to our opponent's library in similar fashion to the heist these draws 
typically costs life to do, but will actually uh, produce life if you have shielded in play for four as a four five with death touch whenever you draw, gain two life whenever they draw, they're gonna lose two life, right? So that's quite fantastic. And uh, then the bat for five as a four four with flying and lifelink whenever it attacks, each opponent will discard a card for each opponent who can't, you draw a card. So this is fantastic value separation between the two players and whenever an opponent discards a land card you'll create a bat token even better um and when it dies you'll return to the battlefield tapped as the temple of the dead which can pay three tapping itself transforming if a player has uh one or fewer cards in hand back to itself which is fantastic so that's really cool mirex creating those tokens which we can then sacrifice with the fountain port which we've talked about earlier really really cool synergy there as well and then some swamps we got the swamps, baby. Let's go. Um, you could potentially play corrupt, but we'll talk about you know other uh, maybes later on uh, when we wrap up to review today's deck. With that all being said, I hope you enjoyed today's build. Um, being met with like a I think nearly seventy percent win rate with it currently. Um, so that's nice. Uh, Cruel cause heist is fantastic. The viper is pretty ridiculous as well, and I'm still getting a feel for season of loss it's really good in specific situations um but because we have so many creatures it is something that we're balancing right uh more on that as you see today's gameplay enjoy kick back relax like comment subscribe become a youtube member join the community discord let's go on the draw mulligan looking for earlier interaction okay so we're going to toss this it's a late game thing um sure it fits in our curve but i don't want to sacrifice a land and not hit our preacher uh that will be fairly important to me i'm just gonna you know take that while we can get it thank you very much goodbye prowess can dodge uh cut down quite easily so you know let's act accordingly take it while we can get it not wait until they can save it Oakley Doakley. And well, I guess we may as well take a little pixie doodle and see what we are working with here. Ah, okay. Well. Do we just let them cast that though and re take a new card? I think that would be the play line, would it not? So they're gonna cast this for two. We should almost take this. But then they would just hard cast it. I don't really want to give them the draw, though. I'm going to take the otter. They're going to bounce or just hold flash. This does not have flying. at which point the burden is on them. And this takes priority of that bounce effect. They say no, they're just going to hold on to it. That's probably the appropriate play line. And now they don't want to play anything at, at uh, what? Oh, they do it here. They're going to take care of the preacher. Okay. I'm tapping, hitting for three. Now tapping out, hitting for four. Uh, that mana base. Creatures can block. I have flying. Oh, here's the land of the land. Okay. I swing. This deck will very much rely on the draw effect to continue pace. If we can take that from them with Shielder's ability, it should uh, really slow them down trade with the death touch no need 
Oh no! <laughs> Aww. Oakley doggly! Keeping seven. Um, you know, two lands, some one drops. What more could you really need? Uh, maybe to go first. Oh, don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> you wish! All right, let's see what we're dealing with over there. Do we cast it? Yeah, heck yeah, every time you do. First, let's attack. Get that damage. We're going to be able to cast this card that we take. Nissa, maybe? We may as well take the cover up at that point. Leave them their two creatures. That's a hard pick. I don't want the bear, but we're not going to get there. This would be good, but then they take everything. Yeah. I guess I'll take it. And then I can still get Gix in, right? Nissa down, or do they plot? Okay, let's play Gix. They are ramping quite nicely. We can get a shield right out before that draw takes place. Each have replacements. I say go for it. And now switch gears and go into a control stance. Oh, that's aggressive. Really? Am I missing something? They're going to bring it all back with an Animist, which it needs to be banned. The fact that this card... Okay, that's fine. Um, oh my god, that's hol... L-O-L. <laughs> I, I had to take it. You can't not take that. What? They get a, a lot of lands back though, right? So... We still take care of it while we can take care of it. Otherwise, it's our field wipe. Cutdown's not doing anything else in the match. That's why we commit to it. That's a good play. They're going to do it again. Nice. I mean, I guess we should get rid of the Nissa every time. It's a good draw. Maybe could have been better, but...
if so many resources, it's going to be tough, right? Toss out land, I guess, on this discard. It's not ideal. Yeah, I, that's a good land. I really like this fountain port. Fantastic. They have so much land. I don't know how we can catch up to this. That's okay. We can like just kind of sit there for now. You picked a fight with the wrong necromancer. I don't want to discard anything here is the problem. Play into the removal beforehand. I don't think Gix is going to get where we need him to go. This is going to be a tough win. They're at 34, we're at 44. They're 10 cards further through their deck than we are. I'm just holding on. They sacrifice that for a draw instead. Oh my god. Randy. <laughs> I'm in danger. You, you have more land, do you? <laughs> <laughs> these decks are so threatening at this point right they're just casting whatever a couple of whatever you're doing it no way where's she older when i need it right you do them all and you bring them all back of course you do this is pretty cool though Tap all your mana. Sacrifice your lands. I wish I had something that could deal with this. So it wasn't... Oh. Um, well, no, they can on the... They could still do it on the stack. I thought it was putting it on the stack. But it happens immediately. Like, I can't interact with that at all. It's unfortunate! Cool story, dude. 19 cards in deck. Can I string together enough removal to mill out? So they're going to have some threats for sure. Hopefully they're single target threats because... Oh, actually, I got the field wipe. You're looking at your entire library. 32 of your 19. <laughs> you, you look at them twice. <laughs> it shows you your library back to back. That'd be fantastic. Okay. 18 cards on a full hand. Can we survive? They have to discard a bunch here for sure. Right? They have uh, 12 in hand. Discarding 5. A lot of control stuff here, right? Oh, I was able to look into there. That's weird. Plus Adelphia, toss the land. Drop it. And for 1. <laughs> we could take anything we want. 
Is there a problem in there that we like need to take all of? Divine Lashers. Right? Is that their whole deck? And the bear. Bear can single target. Vine Lasher's gonna offspring. Okay. But they can't recycle their land back if we take the analyst. Oh, that sucks for me. <laughs> okay. I think it's the Vine Lasher that we should take. Or Analyst. Would there be any other effect that they have that brings all the lands back other than this? Technically, we only need to deal 10 toxic damage. We got to take it. Uh, six. Lily. Well, I'll do actually season and cut. I don't think it matters which one we take. I think the analyst works really well. I think this works really well. I also think the bear works really well. I think there's limited bears in deck. I think we can single target the bears. I think this is what they rely on. No damage, no deck. They have an analyst and Nissa in hand, but what else are they doing with everything? Had it all in hand, they were gonna do it to us. Oh my gosh. That might be game winning for us. It might be. We'll see. And that was their own card. <laughs> right? We stole that from them in the beginning. I have 42. They only have 14. What the? <laughs> what have you been doing over there? Okay. So if there's no damage, they're just cycling lands for what I would suspect to be no reason. They don't have the red for that uh, damage spell. I don't know what else they could do to us other than try to play their few creatures and attack with them. Saving this for the bear. Right? I think I'll just use my lands. 
Yeah. Like that. Very much so. I'm going to take the four. Hello. There's some lines in there. I can't believe you're milling yourself, though. That's fantastic. <laughs> Down to ten. Sack the map token to draw. Now they're going to sack their analyst. And, uh, well, it forces them to do it all now, I guess. Do I care about Nissa? Should I take it? Oh, you gotta save it for that bear, right? So much life gain, so much mana. They're gonna find their next and I believe the last analyst. Is it, what what is it? Animist? Analyst. And this is the animist. It's so confusing. Ooh, the bear. The burr. Which would be a 23. 23. And they've got a, a single target as well. Okay. I'm gonna pass over. Keep up my removal. They have the creature land as well. Oh, it's a big boy. Bring back our bro. No blocker, though. But we've dealt with the threat. And they're milling more. They're down to four cards. Can we do it? I think we can. I think we can. No blocks for five to ten. Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> what couldn't they do? They will need another single target. I mean, it doesn't block, so. What a match, right? They have gone full deck. At 10 life. The question is, do they have another single target removal spell? I don't know. Four in hand that we don't know about. Let's see it. They have two creature lands. That's bad. That's really bad. They have it, and it's one of the last cards, and they need it? No way! I love when someone plays their full library. That's so cool. Winning on, like, no cards. That's that's Chad Adelphia. Last card.
I think we got it. I don't care about keeping the creature. Block as much damage to five. Maybe there's some crazy way. Last card in library. A bunch in hand that we don't know about. Wild. <laughs> Absolutely insano. Okay. There's nothing for them to bring back. Good game, dude. I love how we use their own card to beat them. That's so good. Absolutely fantastic. There you go. We'll pass it back for the win. Unbelievable. All right, let's see if we can string something together. Nice and low to the ground. No one drop, Sag. Quite. Phyrexian, you say? Is it a good one? It is a good one. That shoulder is nice. I'm going to take Glissa, I think, right? Then we need to take their two shielders. Which is next turn. Taking their Glissa is great. This is where it gets a little bit rude. Well, dang it, and also dang it again, Sergeant Dang it. <laughs> I'll take the draw. Okay. Acceptable. They uh, don't have black to cast it, right? So they're going to lose it here permanently, I believe. They also don't have black for anything other than their creatures via the plaza and the Phyrexian. So that any land they get shouldered out, we deal with it. Good game. The Shuffler. You got to love this thing, you know? It it's never disappoints. Going first with this hand. It's not good. I love the snick, and I'm looking forward to kind of showcasing that, so we'll play it out anyways. Hey, that makes it a little bit better. Hopefully there's something for us to do here. Because I'm bored. Oh, it's a counter magic deck, Dad. This won't work well. Sag. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that uh, Fountain Port is really good. One of my favorite cards of the set, actually. As far like, there was not a lot of control cards. Uh, and this is probably the biggest of them. <laughs> Excuse me. Animirix, we're done. This game's over. We were really a hand that was counting on playing against a creature-based deck. 
Do you have another counter? Yeah, of course they do, but you still gotta go for it. This match has been fun. <laughs> Three counter spells in a row. Give me that good stuff. Thanks. Oh, no, not quite. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, a little bit of life gain. Do you have removal, though? Like a get lost, probably. Enchantment removal. Do, 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 do. Technically, that would be the appropriate prioritization as uh, it doesn't do anything the turn it enters. You can easily remove it on your main phase. Save your counter magic. It's true. Uh-oh! Snickadelphia! They have a million cards to discard. And they can just, like, kind of make those forever. But it if is allowed to stack, which I doubt. I mean, if the first one landed. You wish. Well, we're out of cards. They specifically exile the viper we're in trouble no i almost should have kept mana up to kill it myself <sighs> i love this game hmm the lands are so good right now i'm keeping that land Discard it? No way. I'll play all of the lands. That's insane. Ten lands. Ooh, double fishy. Which converts to a double draw, I may say. That land is so good. Jace. Do you really want to mill me, Jace? Because I've got virtue. They will when it's appropriate. Really? Big money, big money, no whammies! Do you think they will just counter it? Yes, so discard it instead. Right? Can I do this at instant speed? I only get one card and it's gonna be a land. But if we're bringing it back after anyways. I have to still do it on my main face, don't I? I get them forever. I think we wait. And then we can replay it from the grave, from the discard. And their stuff's gonna be like instant speed anyways. I gotta get rid of that chase. They have Mirexes as well. I mean, I think they have a variety of ways to win. They can mill us or just kill us. Oh, 
that's aggressive. Oh, you think? Let's toss it. What you got, Willis? Ooh, big money. LOL. But we get it back, so, you know. Is the cost of business. See? Ah. It's a big mill. I almost want to do it now before they get that. Right? I gotta kill it right now. Give me one of those get lost or whatever you use. One of those control spells, eh? Come on. People say his brain was infected by land. <laughs> I'm even discarding them. What the? There's just no way this works out well for us. I've been trying, but... Ah... Uh... These fountain ports are very good. Should we reclaim our time? I don't know how we get out of this. They ha Only 26 cards in the library. Maybe that's our... No, we're going to get milled out. Ouch. All right, I mean, maybe... We'll just keep activating abilities, right? No Planeswalker. How many creatures do we have? None. Dang it. Give me some good stuff. All right, a little draw here, a little draw there. I am cursed! <laughs> Is he crying or laughing? I can't quite tell. That's ah, a bit of both. <laughs> it's oscillating between the two. <laughs> Oh, no. That's ridiculous, bro. Oh, my God. And there's the mill. Woo! Give me another Jace, Daddy. Come on. All of the lines. I'm not sure I've ever pulled that many lines. That might be a new lap record. Going first. Fine. Apparently it's not enough these days. <sighs> so I've been flooding all day. I'm going to throw this land and never see my third. I 
Shut throw on the land. Punished. Every single time. Give me your best card! This isn't the deck you're playing with? I'm just kidding. I'll take that gladly. That is a really good card. You guys should play four copies of this, I think. Just a classic gotcha. Dude, you gotta stop that. I want my lands. They can do another. Maybe you toss your shield or dude, and just race them to your... Fine. That is an audacious move. Do you guys like it? This has to be a land, that means. Holy discard. Give me a vest card! I don't think we need to give them a draw. You, you want to discard? I'll discard, dude. I already got your best card. Oh. Dang it. Okay, now we're screwed. Nice top deck. Wow, you're so lucky. I can make a treasure. We're good. That doesn't kill us. Hopefully they don't have targeted removal. Would we get it or would they get it? Do they draw from that? That's crazy. That's really good. Oh, I don't have the treasure. Where's my status? Here it is. So that's good. Land off top anyways. Nice. Let's get after it. Okay, how lucky do we get? They draw two cards. That's crazy. Please don't remove the baddie. Tiny's fine. We got the fishies. We're down to 12. That's okay. One in hand that we don't see. They should have scried on upkeep for removal. Just saying. More loss of life. Oh, that is good. I'm going to London about it. And we've used it so they can't force a discard on it. We're back on track. Ooh, we make a bat. Discard the land, make a bat. That's good. And we can sack tokens with the fountain port to draw, which is just like... Beautiful. Okay, here comes the scry. Double bottoms, great news for us. They do double draw, though. Bad news. Okay, we're gonna draw. I wonder if they have two of those. That would be psycho. Or combo with a cut down. All right, ugh, gross. I guess we just keep those lands in hand at a certain point. Oh no, we're curving to seven. Silly goose. We can make a treasure now. Double draw. Oh man, so good. We have a bat again, which is nice. Tiny's no problem. We are down to 17. The life gains really help sustain losing a creature. Bummer. Don't you dare. Oh, double discard. No problem. Create a treasure token. Thank you. Thank you very much. Losing life, but... And this is a big one. I like big virtues, and I cannot lie. <laughs> Let's uh, hit, draw. Thank you. Bat defense. They double draw here. Oh, single draw, because I've got two in hand. Oh! Do we finally get it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. They're going to take that removal, kill the bat. But we get our own bat. Did they just take the bat for themselves? What a world. I think they should have killed the bat. Right? Because they can't play their own bat. Sorry. Top line computer struggling with arena. Your graveyard. Shieldred! 
Oh, as written. As written. Great game, homie. Going first. Oh, that's a lot of land. I hope they're a creature deck. Not much going on uh, other than that for us here. I mean, if we can curve to seven, that's fine. That's going to work out. Typically does. A lot of magic is trying to tame the variance and rely on consistency, right? So, you know, having a deck that could curve out um, frequently. Having a deck that can survive, you know? Are you convoking? Oh, it's just a, a mouse deck. Okay, cool. So the draw mouse is really good. Basically anything with Valiant. That's actually not bad either. I'm going to toss this out for now. Double removal next turn. With an attack on what I assume will be open attack lines. Could be wrong though, you know. I could play a third land and then, what is it, hop to it or something? Oh. Raging battle mouse. Okay, scrying one. Land out. Can we force a double block? They should both go, I suppose. That one can stay for now. I want to get rid of the scry. Uh, if they cast one spell, I'll take it on the stack. So there's no reduction from the celebration. It could be a problem. I don't know so much that it will be. The scry or deck filtering is more of a problem. I'm still going to pay life. I'm greedy. I mean, technically it does damage anyway, so if we just take it, that's great. There's like two creatures here. Lost a third? No way. They would probably go for the block to stop kicks. The Viper's good, though. Attack, then Viper, the 1-1. One, one. Play Gix next turn. I mean, technically, we don't need to draw because we already have the card. Ooh, this is good. Discard, sacrifice, or lose 4 life. They lose four life. Okay. And we're still just trying to build to our virtue. It's the Pizza Alley. Ooh, Mabel with a sword. Cost two to equip, though. And they don't have an attacker yet. They might. I don't know. They both have Valiant. Mice you control get plus one. Oh, that's quite cool. Should we just take the damage? Or block it, bring it back? No. I think we must just nearly have lethal. I get it. Monstrous Rage. Go for it, dude. You can only target one of them. Yeah. How did he know? How didn't, you know? Down to two might be a little bit risky risky for us and they can just sack here that's actually pretty bad we probably should have defended i 
I think, actually, yeah. This hits twice, and they only have one defender. We do make the blocker. That 3 4 with tramples the problem. I think they get it, right? We go up to three. Depends what they have in hand, I suppose. No, we're still dead. Nice. That was close. That was pretty cool. I think I might have misplayed a little bit there, but that's hard to say. I don't think we're in a position to just hang out and wait either. I think we really wanted to go for it. Going first, keeping seven. Yeah. That's fine. We'll pick it up on turn two with a Virtue. Where's my land at, yo? Schooner's good. Third land off the top! Ouch. Not ideal, you know? Well, I mean, you were flooding so many games, it's about time you brick, no? Hey, a land. We can use that to ramp. <laughs> One treasure, please. Um. I'm going to take that now. Put that treasure to good use. Yes! Ward one. Creature is a go. Four in hand. Wormlet. Mm, it's pretty good. Cauldron. Don't do that to me. Hit for two. Down to 16. I'm going to take that wormlet. Land out. Gix is a go -Z. Hits. Make a sacrifice. Draw. I can't cut down currently. Because this is for free. Exile target card from graveyard when a creature card is exiled this way. Yeah. So we can't do that. Okay. Still can't do it. On anything. They can take it out of range, right? I mean... Okay. Oh, I can't pay the ward. Let's just take the cookie then. Because we're not going to get anything. I guess we could wait and take that. But having the attack lanes open here, I think is maybe better. Just block that. One card in hand. They're tapped out. Mm. 
Let's hit. Make a sack token. And now this is kind of cool. A, we draw. That's not what I'm talking about. We know what this is. Oh, that's good too. Land out, miner out. Should we check the hand? Yes, you should. Don't be greedy, HGG. Check the hand. Could be terrible. Oh, kind of. Save it and deal with this while you can. That's smart too. The snake's not going anywhere. It's good. And it, like we're going to need to deal with those permanents anyways at some point. So they hit for three. Uh, four, potentially, right? Definitely not bad. I mean, they take the cookie and then that cookie can make something something. Right? I think it just has to pay for it. Okay. Let's hit. Make the lifelink. Oh. Instant speed cookie. Okay. I mean, it's going to hit gigs. It's fine. We'll just bring it back, right? We're at six land, hopefully, next turn. Oh, it still triggers. I'll take one. I'll take two. I'll take three. I'm going to London. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're too much. All right. Lily, Illy, A. Let's take that minus. We'll deal with one of these threats here. Now, it's going on long enough. Um, yes. One, two, three, four. Down to seven. They need three extra damage. Uh, technically, actually, only two because I see the one from the cauldron. I could have played this to defend, but I want to go to London about it, you know? Leave lethal on return. Is there anything? We have the defender if they animate the cauldron. Right? That would be the move if we didn't have the snake just to animate the cauldron with the cookie effect. Well, that's game. Right, now the damage can't be blocked. This snake is crazy good. Very, very good. Going first, pretty slow hand. Um, but I like to showcase new cards. That's really what this is about. So we see two of them here, so we're keeping it. And, you know, there is a two drop. That's pretty good two drop. Um, replayable later. Um, yeah, we'll see. Right? Really, having the Preacher with the Viper in hand is uh, what we like to go for. They're going to plot. No. Okay. We just take it, don't we? Yep, perfect. Really nice opportunity with the one drop on top to utilize our mana effectively on the turn. Double strike, and it also 
is a valiant. Uh, sorry, not that's not the double strike. I was, I was thinking this was manifold mouse. Either way, that's card advantage. Uh, it needs to go. This is good. No card advantage though. Still very good. I'm gonna attack first and foremost. We could play their mouse maybe. No, so it's just removal, and I like that quite a bit. Here you go with a preacher now. They might have another copy of it, right? That's why they're so um, liberal with it. Use it just as a de defender slash removal. Makes sense. Kind of like I'm using Tiny Bones because I'm planning on bringing mine back. We could have used it for the Viper a little earlier, but it's fine. We've got two preachers. It should convert. So this is the Manifold Mouse, and it gets doubled. So we need to remove them. I need my fifth land. Nice. All right. So let's... Uh, this is pretty cool, actually. We get a draw, and we get a token. Beautiful. Destroy them both, right? Or do we save it? Last resort. First and foremost, I think I want to just get after it. They take the damage. Can they remove it? That's the big question. So because of this, it kind of takes away from their uh, turn of planned aggression because they have to remove the Viper. And that's what lets us play it. Because typically, we would want to get rid of all this from the value that it represents. Oh, they do get it. Okay, good. Good for you. We should have done it, because now they've got card advantage. But on a similar note, now maybe we can get more value from it. We'll see. The grass is always green with this one. It's like, well, which 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 one's greener? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's some value on the turn, and it's good. Okay. Not too shabby, yeah. Throw double strike on it. That's pretty cool, too. It already has trample. So you probably put that somewhere else, but that's fine. Just trade with it. Or take six. Nah. I'll take it. That's pretty good, but... They have to sacrifice two things here. Or lose eight life, and they do. Oh my gosh. How many creatures do I have? Only one. Just a single block? Okay. This would take them to two. We're at 13. Would we survive? Can they kill us? Just sack two creatures. They would keep this, though. It's not much by itself, however. This triggers it. No double strike without these, though. Hmm. Oh, okay, we have lethal. Oh no, that would cost six. Oh, but we choose which creatures we sack. Right? One, two, three damage, sorry. Not lethal. Lethal with shoulder the turn after.
me keep the token. I don't think they can convert, and we have the life game blocker. Thank you for the support. Appreciate that. They're going to keep the 3-3. Three, three. Double strike's gone. They're one life. They have haste with the village. We're 13. We only have one more land we'd be cooking. We could have forced that to die. All we need to do is play shield lord and win. And they need to defend, right? They can't. Well, they've got vigilance, actually. So, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no way. Good for you. Honestly, good for you. Okay. That's what I was trying to get rid of was this double strike, right? Okay, but they're out of mana, and that's a, that's good, right? So it doesn't matter too much. You can double strike them both, I don't care. That's 6, uh, 10 damage. I don't mind. This one doesn't have trample. So it's actually only 5. Here you go, here you are. Take your draw, dude. Good game, homie. I saved it for last. It's Thank you for showing the mouse deck. I really like it. It's actually one of my most recent uploads on YouTube. If you want to check out my version of it, it's aggressive, dude. It's pretty good. <sighs> nice. The easy way out. Funny, HGG. You know, I'm a mono black player full time. Laugh it up. No, I'm just kidding. I'm the one playing it. It's okay. I'm, I'm right beside you on this train. Uh, the victory town. Judge all you want. I like the Viper. I think this is going to be playable in many decks. And I'm, you're, you're going to see four copies of this in the decks as well. As soon as people unlock them, right? Uh, Season of Loss. I'm still getting used to it. Uh, the heist. You, you could probably play 3-4 here as well. This is just such an absolute bomb aroni. Um, maybe even more so in a control deck. But it works really good here for us as well. Uh it, it could be your Sunfall Hunter, you know? In white's got Gobicon, right? That's pretty good. It can kind of grab your Sunfall, set it back a bit. Um, but this is just better. You know, this is just going to straight up grab Sunfalls like nobody's business. And because our deck is, you know, fairly creature oriented, it it ends up working out for us, right? Uh, whereas you could actually run it in a control deck as well. And it's going to work out there. So fairly versatile card here within the heist. I think it's going to be played in a variety of builds, much like the Viper. Season of Loss might be, you know, a little more linear uh within its play style but it seems to be quite powerful uh anyways you know pretty cool it's it, you know it's what was that black card called to sacrifice a creature or gain two life if they don't sacrifice mm, invoke despair it's no invoke despair right let's be honest but it's pretty good it's pretty cool and uh you know the other modes are decent as well we're gonna learn how to play it effectively maybe it can be utilized in a combo deck, dare I say? I mean, that last ability is aggressive. You could just self-mill and kill. Right? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Have an absolute magical day. Maybe check out another video. Who knows? I got plenty of new Bloomboro decks available for you in the standard playlist. Yeah. Cheers. Looking forward to seeing you soon in the next. Take care.